What's going on, collectives? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. Thank you so much, guys, for the emails that you guys been sending me. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes, even though it didn't come up yet. Thank you so much for all the positive um, and motivational messages that you've been sending me, like, Throughout these moon cycles, it really be helping me. So I love you guys for that. I just wanted to um, show some gratitude. All right. I've been reading my emails. So let's tap in Archangel Michael in a leg walk. Please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as I tap into the most important messages. Come into the collectives. All right. So, Wow. All right, so we got the Five of Swords. All right, so there is somebody that's becoming aware of who the actual target and problem is. All right, if you, you know, the depiction of this picture is a whole bunch of different animals, right, hanging around. In the same vicinity because that's where they all drink. So they're good with each other. But there is somebody behind that bush, all right, with a rifle trying to trying to target somebody and end somebody because they are different. So basically, you see this allig alligator, right? The alligator always comes to this meeting spot with all of the other animals in the forest or the jungle or whatever you want to call it. This is their meeting spot. No, everybody knows their place. Everybody knows their territory, but it is just kind of like a mutual agreement that everybody must drink from a source, right? So it's like that common ground. It's like, you know, like gang members, right? They don't like each other, but they also have some some level of respect to like not go to certain blocks and stuff like that. So I'm getting an energy where you had people around you or a person around you that was very different from you. All right. I'm talking about different beliefs. I'm talking about look different, talk different. Look at the alligator compared to all these other animals. Everybody in the picture look different. But the only person you can't see is the person that's hiding their hand. Being a real enemy, trying to put y'all against each other, making y'all feel fearful of one another for no reason, because there's a mutual respect that y'all been had. All right. There's like, you know, who don't want to be around different people? And I feel like you guys were judged off of your looks or something like that. You guys were judged off of how you carried yourself. All right. Maybe you, you, you look mean like a motherfucking alligator, but whole time you was as sweet as a teddy bear type of energy. All right. So the five of swords is given the energy of somebody being very sneaky. All right. Trying to make you fearful of somebody or people that you've been around that you really know very well. For their own purpose. That's a narcissist. And they're doing it very sneaky. They, they're making you feel like. If you if they don't target whoever they're targeting. Then the different people is going to target you. So they're, they're trying to play um, by reverse psychology. Or trying to like manipulate your mind into thinking. That because y'all so different. Y'all don't need to be in the same environment. Which is completely not true. In a jungle, if there's a water source, I promise you, you are going to see many different animals. I'm talking about many. Coming from somebody that watched Animal Planet until I found out like certain shit was fake. All right. But I used to like the jungle stuff. And there were times where people would build like a, um, like a, a, a bridge. Like they would, cause the animals sometimes couldn't get past or over a certain thing. But they were like, you know, amazing people that would just um put 
like a like a a, a walk a, a passageway for the animals to get over freely without having to do so much. And when I tell you when they they uncovered the video, there were so many different animals coming at different times. So I'm getting like you know there was respect at different times that you guys would come out or like there was just different things where you guys know y'all just had a mutual respect. But there was this person. That was just cat lingering, even following you guys, right? You guys could be just chilling and they are like following and, and, and making a real big mess about you being with somebody or a group of people that is very different from you, that you actually feel very safe with. All right, wow, Ogun energy. All right, so this energy um, is strong. All right, whoever is embodying a, or going to resonate, there's a strong masculine energy out here. All right. My bad, y'all. But yeah, so Ogun energy is out here. Um, no matter if you are a, a feminine or a masculine, this is masculine energy. And I just need to be very direct so that way you can understand what this spirit and this energy is bringing to your reading. And that way you could decipher whether or not this is your energy or somebody else's. All right, but... When Ogun is out here and whoever that's embodying Ogun's energy will triumphant and prevail over anything, especially when it comes to matter. All right. Um, Ogun is like, the, you know, he deals with iron and like a lot of the tools, like making tools, firearms. All right. Um, shit like that. Like that's what we got. In, well, I got in his pot like he iron dead seriously okay so somebody is very powerful when it comes to handling like firearms and tools and and very masculine things all right they're very good with their hands they can have like very strong and big hands is what i'm picking up with ogun energy all right um this is all about when ogun comes out here because he symbolizes green and that's you know, very, also, you could be somebody that is a vegetarian or is supposed to be or is, or may be looking to become more green because he's all about green. All right. Very, very healthy. You see his body. So this is a very strong masculine or has the ability. Okay. This is when. You guys are embodying and exercising your intelligence over brutality. So this is a masculine that could be very strong, that could be in the streets, good with weapons, right? Very just naturally skilled with their hands, right? They have big hands so that way they could grab things and, and, and you know, it's a purpose for that. But... Whoever's embodying this energy, you are exercising your intelligence, your mind, instead of being as brutal as you can be. Very important. All right. This is symbolizing you conquering all your enemies. Ogun conquers. All right. I always say for me, it's like uh, a leg walk clears my path and open my roads and Ogu clears the rest of the shit out. All right. You will win in any contest. You will win in any battle amongst whoever that is trying to alter your intelligence. Remind you, you're very intelligent right now, whoever you are, and you're operating out of intelligence instead of what they want you and what they know you're capable of doing. And that's going to war. Ogun goes to war. But you're not operating like that. All right. So you're being very skillful at how you handle a situation because you know other people are being targeted. 
that shouldn't be targeted. This message might not resonate for a lot of people. Okay. You're you, you're uh, independent. I see like, I see you just out like by yourself, like, and you make friends. Like wherever you go in the environment, you make friends, right? You, 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 you be a, by yourself a lot, but you don't really be by yourself a lot. I know that sounds crazy. That's just how my spirit guys is giving me. Like you be by yourself a lot, like you're comfortable with your solitude, but you're so attracting and magnetizing with your spirit and your personality and your willingness not to judge because for a lot of you guys, you know, one of the parakis about Ogun is like he lives in a jungle. So imagine you living in a jungle and I'm talking about the jungle, like the concrete motherfucking jungle. You hear me? The hood. This is what my spirit guys is giving me right now. Just this Ogun jungle was actually a motherfucking jungle with real motherfucking animals. But it's the same thing out here. He's saying you grew up in a jungle. You hear me? So where you're not. You're not easily feared by people that look different. You're not easily feared or scared of people that may have a different belief system. You're not scared of you. You seem worse. Is what I'm picking up. You're very intelligent because you come from the jungle. So it's like somebody trying to really play on your intelligence. Like you don't know these people. Right? Like you don't know the people that you're hanging around. Now they're just playing you like you stupid. Like you just hanging around anybody. Now they're trying to turn you against the same people that you've been drinking with. That you've been eating with. Nothing been happening. You hear me? Ogun energy. You got Ogun has courage. Like you got courage in a situation. And that's why they trying so hard to be so sneaky. You can't even see them. They, buy, they right there with, with three rifles. All right, it is three rifles right there. And y'all literally are comfortable with being with other people. Y'all don't y'all don't probably don't even know these people that's targeting you. All right. I feel like y'all the other people. Or y'all could y'all I'm getting two energies. Y'all could be these people, and these is just the birds and stuff. They still got a spirit in a soul, I feel like. And then somebody is embodying Ogun energy. All right, somebody is trying to people that got the target on the other people. They're trying to influence and alter the intelligence of Ogun, like a spirit, like a very intelligent spirit that came from the jungle, that been through all, that learned how to not judge because that's not what you do. When you come from the hood, when you come from the hood, you're going to see everything different. You're going to see so many different motherfucking races and they're going to be cool. They might not even practice the same religion, but in the hood where I come from, especially like. It's different. <laughs> so somebody trying to play your intelligence and right now you're winning. All right. You're too strong. You will bring anything you have started to a conclusion and nothing not even the smallest detail will be left out you hear me let me say that again you will bring anything because what's going on is you on to something your focus ogun you see him like he got his war gear on like he focused he working on his craft you probably working on another sword like working on another project or something like you focus these people is trying to throw you off your focus because they know how capable you are. And that's, you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. Who's these people? But these people is the ones that's trying to explain you. You already know. You already know. All right. So whatever you're working on and that they're trying to interfere, you will bring that. And what you have started to a conclusion and nothing. I'm talking about not even the smallest detail will be left out. All right. This also signifies travel by train. This also signifies activities and business related things. Also, it's, it's given military like you militant, like you feel like you got to be militant with 
Not even the people that's different from you. You got to be militant and watch your, watch your surroundings with these people that's trying to turn the other people against you. I hope that is making sense to you. Uh, and if it don't, that's probably not your reading. All right. So, yeah. Also, I see that these people that has the rifles, right? I see that with this vegetation, you know, like Ogun, he's strong. You know, he eats good because when he eating good, that's how he's able to go to war, have a clear mind, make decisions, come up with strategies. All right. He eats green. He's from the jungle. Right. So you could be somebody that's from the jungle, like a heart not like or just in the hood and you're healthy or you was once healthy or you had a different eating habit or you was fasting or something like that where. These people probably don't probably don't eat. see what's good. Thank you, spirit. So what's going on is these people that you was around that was different from you was inspiring you to be more on your shit. They was inspiring you to work on your craft, be more stronger, but not in a way of war all the time, like working on your craftsmanship, like being a man, getting your hands dirty. That's what Ogun is. You can find him in the jungle crafting something with a weapon or doing something like exchanging, like doing something. He's always doing something. You hear me? Something, making something. He's very good with iron. So you could be like a construction worker or a welder. All right, a welder, okay, or somebody that operates like um the mines and stuff like that, where you have to use tools. You're very strong, all right. In this whole process of you being around these people, these different people, you know, um, you're getting your life together, you're being more inspired, you're getting your health together. This is what whoever this is was fearing. Very strong energy coming out here with Ogun. So tell me more about what the collective needs to know, please. Wow, the air element. Wow. And you have the motherfucking eight of cups trying to hold you back. So for some of you guys, this is about the mind. All right. And for some of you guys, you might have a ear sign or ear element acting out in a ear element, literally trying to influence you to go against the same people that really loves you and that cares for you. And you being around all the time, they just might be a little different, even different races. All right. So they fear that you leaving you in a boat. You in a boat, you already out of here. And didn't I say Ogun does symbolize like travel, like train, or just maybe for some of you guys over a body of water. And didn't I say like a train conductor, like you was already in control of your own ship going, like making your own choices. All right. Whoever this ear element is or acting out in this ear element or trying to take control over your mind, your crown chakra, because you was out. Look, you strong. Look at this big. First of all, the reason why it was a battle for you to get away from this person in this type of energy, eight of cups, it's not because your mind wasn't made up. When you think about a motherfucking octopus, first of all, it's not just one arm. That's on you. It is multiple arms on you. So that means that this person had multiple ties attached to you for you to force you to stay. And not only does the octopus have different tentacles, they have suction cups, many different suction cups. So whatever that this person, all right, was attaching you to so that way you won't leave. All right. They were. Also, making you burn every bit bridge or trying to influence you to burn every bridge so that way you won't be strong enough to push past and get the tentacles off of you. But let me tell you, baby, that's a big ass boat. If you keep fucking going and you keep pushing, you're going to, it's going to damage it. It's going to damage that octopus. Okay. You got to realize this is a mind thing. All right. You got to realize you're the boat. You're the boat. If you just keep going, 
fuck trying to get the tentacle off, roll, rock, roll over those motherfuckers, right over them. They attached you to so many different things that was sucking the resources, the life, the strength and the energy and the ideas out of you intentionally. That octopus know what the fuck that octopus was hunting that boat. You don't even never see an octopus hunting a boat. So you know something wrong. <laughs> you know something wrong. Okay. That octopus wants somebody on that boat. All right. That octopus feel like somebody on that boat is, is, is a male. A male. You hear me? This is a mind thing. Do you feel like a little ass octopus compared to a boat? Going to stop you? Or you looking at it as, oh, this is a big octopus and it's on a boat and you scared. <laughs> All right. It's a mind thing. It is a mind thing. Wow. Fire element to stop your, it's fear. It's like a fear based tactic to your mind. So that way they could block. All right. And keep you in your sacral chakra. That's your red element. That's that fire. That's that lower level chakra. That's just survival mode. That's wartime. That's wartime. That's no peace. Ogun's has peace because he's from the jungle. He makes peace. It's like he's the kingpin in the jungle. Like they won't, there's not going to be no arguing. For what? It haven't been no arguing. That's the type of energy. So somebody is trying to take somebody, control over somebody's mind because they know their spirit. They know your spirit. They know how y'all going to fight for y'all. They know how if y'all really love somebody and y'all know somebody not doing nothing and all of this is being revealed to whoever this is that y'all been targeted the whole time for nothing. Y'all over here drinking water, chilling like y'all doing on a normal basis. All right. And Ogun energy, y'all are not stupid. Y'all just playing and exercising y'all intelligence rather than brutality. All right. Because I'm pretty sure y'all could, again, ride over this. Y'all having more compassion because y'all know the damage that could be done if you keep going without you letting them know to get the fuck off the boat. So, again, I, I need y'all to understand that, too. All right. These people know that you got the strength to move past them. They know that regardless of how many suction cups, no matter, it, they know that. Okay. But they also know that you are nice and that you might let certain shit slide because of your karma that sent you to the jungle. In the first place. So that's a whole nother pot of key on why Ogun got sent to the jungle. All right. So you not trying to fuck that up because you know the karma. So instead, you know, God had put you, God had, it was a pot of key where God had put Ogun or whoever y'all want to call it, put Ogun in the jungle to isolate him because he was using his power for bad. Remember, we all got a good and bad side. And if we don't really know how to handle our powers for good, we can hurt people. And that's what motherfuckers was doing. And they had to like, you know, shit happen. And Ogun wound up mastering the forest and starting to do good, eat good. Don't want to kill shit. Not a motherfucking animal went whole vegetarian. But you see how that changed his life? All right. Not wanting to do that shit again. You know, really seeing that what he did like really hurt people like Ogun was really hurt so it's not that he won't do shit let me clear that up it's not that he won't do shit it is that he exercises his intelligence before it gets to brutality because he knows that when it gets there it was justified and he could go brutal if that makes sense so this is somebody that's being tested that should not be tested. Because he's not stupid. Whether you are masculine or feminine. I'm just reading the energy. All right. They are feeling like this person is not going to run them over because they did it so many times and never happened before. But everybody has a limit. And I'm telling you, and everybody wakes up to their real power. And I don't care how long 
you felt like your boat was smaller than that fucking octopus because that shit is big, but baby, you bigger. And it's always at a certain point where we all wake up to our motherfucking senses and our strength and our capability to move past people without knocking them the fuck out. And if it results to that, then they call for it and you don't have to go to karma for it. You've learned that. You learned the damage that you could do. Ogun learned that. You hear me? So that's what's going on. All right? They know your power. You hear me? Ace of Swords and your mind. Your shit clicking now. Your mind and your spirit and your actions are working. So now any type of manipulation that these people are trying to say about these other friends or person that is really different that you've been chilling with the whole time, whether you are alligator or not, you've been chilling. All right. Y'all already know in your heart and in your mind. What these people are trying to do. Y'all, Ogun is intelligence. Y'all just mastering and exercising your intelligence instead of your brutality. Because I told y'all, that's what's going on, y'all. That's what's going on. Okay. That is what's going on. This is all about mind and spirit and action and knowing what the fuck you know and going off of your intuition because you are the king of the jungle. You know how the jungle get and you know how mixy shit could get. And he said and she said because of jealousy, you already know that. And the fact that these people been playing on your mind and you just simply did not want to hurt them because of your strength. They played on it and it's like it's you, they keep pushing you and pushing you until God going to be like, all right, now. I held them back for a reading, reason. Oh, I said a reading. Oh, my, I said a reading. I said, God, God, I held them back from a reading. Somebody ain't got a reading done that they was supposed to not get because it was going to clear some shit up. And this was the time to get a reading or some shit like that. All right, but it's always a time when you wake the fuck up and you realize that your strength and your mind, right? This is like strengthening your mind. It's like mind over matter. You got to have willpower knowing how strong you could be and, and do something else to end the situation. That's strong. Like it, it's like, it's like they could laugh at you and call you a punk, but the, the, the jokes on them because you you also laughing like, y'all don't even know I just saved y'all. Like, I don't even want to do that to y'all. Y'all don't even know what y'all doing. The paper try to trigger you because they want you. They want you to be fighting like that. They want you to be feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't leave when you a whole boat. So now you waking up. Now your mind is activated. Your crown chakra activated. All right. You no longer living in survival mode, baby. You ascended. All right. You ascended. I'm telling you, when I said that reading... You hear me? This person done went through a Baba Lao or a reader. That shit, when I slip up like that, that wasn't a coincidence. <laughs> that was supposed to, that's an ancestor's list saying, Nico, you forgetting to say something. They went to a practitioner. Okay? And that practitioner told them so much shit that clarified what they was already intuitively feeling. It just put the icing on the cake. So that way when they end it, they can, they can no longer be gaslighted when they take it there. They went to a reader or they getting some messages and, and shit is adding up. Shit is adding up. All right. They no longer living in a sacred chakra no more. They like, this not a battle. You only looking at it as a battle because you not looking at your full potential of what you driving in your vessel. You forgot you got big ass aunt like what the fuck. They better stop pushing you and they pushed you to where they got ran over. All right. And you ascended because now you already know you already hit to what type of game they on. You already see the intentions and then you like, why are they trying to keep you away? That's the real question. Why are they trying to cause a wedge between you and other people just because simply y'all different? Because if you look at it, literally, that is the only thing wrong with this picture and the other ones that's trying to scout everybody else out. 
Everybody is drinking water. Everybody is oblivious about any type of fear. All right. The alligator right there, it may look sneaky to them because that is not their reality. Right. So what what might look good for me and what works for me may look very taboo to other people because y'all not living in my reality. Right. It's just people judging because of how their appearance, their background, their religion, and their looks. All right, so let's get more into your reading. Spirit, give me more on this five of air energy. What is going on with this energy? All right, because these are people that God put on your path to align with your future. These people weren't there by accident. These people were meant to be that different and have so much different walks of life. So that way y'all can open up your heart space and know that y'all still in the same jungle. <laughs> y'all just came from different places. You hear me? And they coming in. You hear me? They coming in. So now y'all, y'all realizing like it was never y'all. For some of you guys, it's just like, for, so I lived in projects, right? And it's so weird because my projects would be against each other. You would think that my projects, well, not everybody, but like there were certain like, you know, places where they were like actually against each other. So you would think that in the projects, we will all be with each other and then we will be against whoever that's trying to come in the projects. No. So it's like, It's like you over here, you know, God put these people on your path so that way your heart chakra could open and you could just not judge because you starting to understand like, damn, we all looking for the same thing and that's water. We need water to fucking survive. So what we going to kill each other or we going to come to some common ground, whoever, whoever that is not with that. Y'all already know who to target. So that's what was going on because these people and these people that were different were helping you with your vision. They was feeding your ideas. They was, you know, guiding you towards your goals and inspiring you. And you need different people. Okay? You need different people. Let me tell you guys. So... You know, I love my animals and I love experiments. So it was an experiment where it was eight rats, right? And they split the rats up four and four. And four went to a environment where it was yucky. Like they really had to live like rats. You hear me? They didn't have no resources. They had to, you know, fight for their food. And then the other four rats was put in an environment um, that was really, really clean. They didn't have, they was living like, better than humans but it was just an experiment right remind you all these eight rats come from the same mother and the same father so they got the same genetics very important right so um they test them for a month and then they took them out of those environments and put them in like a maze to see how their brain was functioning. Was they getting smarter? Was they getting intelligent? So the rats that was in a messed up environment, they didn't know what the fuck to do. You hear me? They was just like scrambling. They didn't know what the fuck to do. And then the rats that was living in a nice environment, um, they, they, they got out fast. Like they knew. All right. So then the experiment switched. So now for another month, they swapped it out. They swapped the rats that was in a nice place in the dirty place and they swapped the rats that was in a dirty place and a nice place all right and then did the same thing for a month and they came back and did the same thing so the dirty rats i'm just gonna call them dirty because they were like in a filthy area the dirty rats that was put now in a cleaner environment a more you know just attentive environment more with more opportunities and things and help and resources and assistance and support all right don't motherfuckers learned and the rats that knew how to do it, but was put in another environment that was not like they, what they was used to. And it was filthy. They, they came back and they ain't know they lost. 
they lost it, how to, how to get out the maze. So the conclusion here is that it is not the genetics. Sometimes it is the area, it is the location, it is the environment that you're in that will fuck you up. Okay. That will fuck you up. Let me tell you one more thing. Another experiment. So it's fleas. You know how high fleas could jump? Like they could jump really high, right? But there was an experiment where this scientist put a whole bunch of fleas that could jump really, really high. That's in their nature. That's in their genes, Monica. Jump really, really high. They put them in a jaw, right? But they put the lid over it. And after a certain amount of days, do you know what happened? They were programmed to think that they couldn't jump to their natural height. So without the lid, so the God took the lid off and without the fucking lid, they didn't even try to jump. They didn't even try to jump because after a certain amount of time, they, they felt like they couldn't do it and it wasn't no way out. So even with the lid off, their mind was programmed to think they lost their mom, they lost their memory into thinking how far they could jump with the lid off. Do you know that if one of them just jump, like just jump and realize that the thing is off, but nobody, none of them jumped. Again, it is the environment when you know you could do something. It's like you was, before you was put in that environment, you was capable of all things, anything that you wanted to do. And as soon as you was put in that environment, it started to decrease to the point where you literally feel like you can't do it, but you know you could do it. Child. This what was going on. You was, you was getting on the right path. Your mind. All right. Your body. You eating more healthier, you fasting, you eating more green, you just committing to yourself, mind, body, and spirit. You know why? Because you getting influence from other people's stories. You getting influence from other people's walk of life. All right. It was the jealousy. That's what it was. All right. They ain't want you speaking to nobody. They ain't want you. It was like they wanted you to be a product of your environment and stay there. Literally, I'm talking about force. And you just didn't know how big you were. Literally, you did not know how big you were and how forceful you were because you did not want a result. Let's not forget that. Ogun can be slow to anger, but baby, that don't mean he's exempt from getting angry. And he he's cleared. Forget, he's a fucking deity, okay? He earned his fucking stripes. He paid his karma. He's here to help us now. You were, you were, you were, you were aligning, you were aligning, you were raising your vibration. You went from the fire element to the ear element. That's like sacred chakra, crown chakra, wide the fuck open. Nobody can influence that. And once they couldn't penetrate your crown chakra to go against the people that they wanted you to hate because they was just simply different and look different, and act different and are different. All right. Everything is being exposed for what they really try to do for their own intentions. What you allowed happen because you didn't really want to use your strength because you was fearful of God's judgment. Okay. It's a whole lot of shit. You scared because you made a mistake and you know you got karma so you think you can't defend yourself no more. That's not God, baby. You learn your lesson, but you still supposed to defend yourself because you still Ogun energy, baby. That never dies. All right, put some respect on that man name. All right, so spirit, give me more on this Ogun energy, please, and thank you. Look, defending, don't they look just like that? It was like war. You hear me? Battle. It was like a full-blown war because what happened was y'all started to defend Y'all people that was different. Y'all started to really see past the manipulation like, wow, these people really jealous. You started to really see that.
So it was like, it was like instead of you backing down because you didn't want to show your brutality, it was like you was given access to, to back your people up and stand your ground however way you need fit to feel safe because God already see what you was doing it for. You hear me? You start realizing that you start realizing like you're not going to get condemned for certain shit. So it's not what you was doing. God already know your capability. They should have knew your capability. Look at these two energies. It's not even the same weight class. For real. And this is in spirit. Physically. I'm telling you, small people be trying to try to like, especially men. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of females. All right. That that feel comfortable with boxing men up. And thinking like nothing going to happen. All right. Literally, it's not even the same weight class. So they know. So basically what I'm getting to tell y'all is a scenario. All right. So you know how if you have a big ass masculine, right. And you got a, a feminine that's petite or just that's little one than the masculine, like a feminine. Right. But the feminine is going to war just like the masculine, even probably more. The feminine is all in the person face. And then they getting fucked up. And then that one time, you know, they, they getting fucked up and allowing the little person to hit them and stuff because they know how strong they are. And they know that one punch could really do damage and it'll do like real damage to the point where they fucking around and get locked up or something that happened to where they didn't really mean it. But because of their strength, that could happen. So it's like you got to know your place is what I'm trying to get. So... Y'all and Ogun energy, very masculine energy going up to somebody that is really to try to take y'all on. Literally because you're defending people that you really love and that you really care about and that you are fine with being different because y'all all from the same jungle. You hear me? That's what's going on. They wanted to challenge you. All right. Spirit, give me more on this air, um, air element, please, and thank you. All right, the sun card. Look. All right, you guys are fighting back. You guys are fighting for your happiness. Like, you know, people that's aligning with you, because it started out with this. I need y'all to know, like, this was the first card. Like, this was all about targeting a certain person or a certain group that you really fuck with because you was getting on the right track, but it was with different people doing different things that may, may have needed a little bit of time to get used to from other people. Right. So, you know, you start fighting back. Like, no, these people bring me happiness. I don't give a fuck how they look. I don't give a fuck how they, act. I don't care if you don't understand them. All right. I understand them. And I know like they coming in peace. Like, I know, like, they of God, all right? I'm also getting, like, they try to say, like, you wasn't of God or the people. Like, they were trying to, they were trying to influence this Ogun person to feel like they were making amends or being friends with the enemy. And that was totally wrong. You were of God. You are, you were aligned with their soul path and their contracts. This is where they have peace at. They could be they self because everybody's different. So when everybody different around you, you not... You, you can't fit in. So now you're not worrying about your hair or your blemishes or your teeth or nothing like that because everybody look different. It's only when everybody look the same and then you look different, you start feeling like, no, but if you, if you get accustomed to being around different people looking different, you might not even agree on something, but that's okay. Um, you know, just stuff like that. Like you're going to see like, well, damn, everybody different. Everybody got something a little bit weird, but when you start looking at somebody's personality, you start loving that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so these people bring you happiness. All right. They bring you clarity. You hear me? Uh, this is all about air energy, like attacks on your mind. All right. Like they try to attack your joy. Like every time you would come in from an outing, it would really be like, why the fuck you happy? Or what you so happy about what you was doing that you feeling so um, bloomed. It's like, what? I can't just be happy. I can't have my own mind. All right. They want to they wanna immediately know who are you with. And you're like, no. 
All right, because there's balance there. All right, I feel like when you go with these people, all right, or with your friends, I'm just getting like different people. Like y'all going, y'all chipping for food. Like it's always love. It's never nothing. Like what these people are trying to paint it out to be. Spirit, why does these people, why is this people in this Eight of Cups energy like really trying to force the collectives to stay back? Like what's all of their might? Remember the suction cups aside from the tentacles. Oh my gosh, because y'all closed out a cycle on them. It is over. For some of you guys, you moved away and they can't really, that's what they were trying to prevent. So for some of you guys, they feared that you would move away for good. They already knew this was coming, but they feared this. So when I tell you they did everything, and when I say everything that they could do to try to stop you from moving, relocating, and closing out this cycle, but they couldn't. You did it anyway. Wow. They knew it. That's why they were trying to do this. So it wasn't mainly the people, all right? They just did not want you around those people because you were being better. You was closing out cycle. You was getting confident. You was changing your health, your wealth, everything. And you was finally feeling like people love you. You was finally feeling comfortable with trying to take your guard down outside from the normal family or the normal friends that you've been around. Like it was safe for you to be around these people because God was opening you up to people, other people that love you. You know, everybody is not out to get you in this world. And I can promise you that. I done got a lot of fucked up shit done to me. But when I tell you the people that love me on this earth right now, it is a lot all right, these people love you. These people closing out cycles, you like you, you, yah, 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 building here. That cycle is closed, baby. And look, now they might not know what to do because it was your intelligence. Spirit, give me more on this fire element, please. The Six of Pentacles. The King of Wands. Definitely a fire sign here. All right. Definitely this could be the masculine energy. Wow. With the Ace of Cups. This is those relationships. This could literally now with this Ace of Cups. It could be a number of people. Or it could be a relationship where y'all completely different. And you know different sides of your family or friends or environments just didn't understand you guys together all right this is a king of wands knowing their strength knowing that god is not condemning them for defending they're not going to be ridiculed god knows where they're coming from um god also knows their strength and they they know that there's so much that somebody can handle it's a king of wands coming out another with a fire sign that's a lot of energy you hear me that's a lot of capability to light somebody ass on fire okay but they choose love remember like you got a king of wands and his fire energy this is somebody that could really do damage but because they know that they can do this they just rather choose love but but when they choose love that's when this happened that's when it's happened. When they when they just try to let bygones be bygones and try to take the higher road, this what happens. They start trying to feel capable to hold this person back, and and that's not that's not happening. All right, that's not the spirit of this King of Wands. You, the King of Wands won't tolerate that. Okay, won't. Yeah, look, they're defending you or the group. Look, they're defending. You hear me? They ready to go to war. This is a wounded warrior. For some of you guys, they might have been in or physical altercations defending you. Seriously. And they still don't care. That's how much they are honoring, you know, and valuing the, the nights and the, and the times where y'all was telling y'all stories and stuff and linking up. This is somebody that's saying, I don't care. I know who was with me shooting in the gym. I know throughout a couple of disputes, they didn't fold quick like other people. You know, these are things that you realize. And this is, you ain't going to be in this nine of wands, ace of cuts, if you're not ready to go to war for the people that is being targeted. You see. So I even feel like now you like aware, like, oh, it's wartime. 
Oh, y'all really trying to go to war with people that I love because I'm ascending? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to just get back into my old, old goon energy. <laughs> For real. Simple. I try to come in love and light, but since y'all want to take it there now, God sees this. God sees that you are ready to go to war for love. God sees, remember, when we went to the age of Aquarius, it went from I to we thing, meaning everything is not always about us. Like, it was hard to transition, I know, but it literally went from, like, you really finding friends and you don't be shysty. Like, really honoring friendships and really honoring relationships and family. Like, that's how it should be right now. And that's why everybody heart chakra activating because now people defending people. You know, we're not letting things slide when, we, when it comes to people we love. And when you do that, that encourages somebody to defend you back. It's just love. Period. I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck how long somebody knew somebody. I don't give a fuck how, how much bread somebody split with somebody. It be nights like this when nobody see. Right? Y'all chilling. And talking. We don't know what the fuck. Everybody just vibing. But this is what you want. Okay, so that's why I see this person is ready to go to war because he's a warrior. He just don't like to tap into that because he know what he's capable of. And when he push it there, there's no turning back. And that is that that means that he he's willing. His actions is justified enough to be willing to get the consequences that he may receive. So he got to remember, is it valid? And you are not a doormat. I don't give a fuck how much you change your life. Eat green. You're not a doormat. And God does not want you to be. And God will never condemn you for sticking up for yourself. It is just what you're doing. Just like if I go rob a bank, right? But if I'm going to rob a bank for like a family matter where I need thousands of dollars and nobody want to give it to me. And my child is about to be unalive because they need a certain organ. Like some shit like that. And you need it. All right. You might not get that much karma. All right. If any at all. I don't know. But this is how I'm feeling because it's about your intention. Now, if you go rob a bank. Just because you want a lot of money and you want to floss and you want to just have this money. No, your ass is getting karma. So you see the intentions of your actions. It's not really what you're doing. It's what you're doing it for. Because sometimes, again, you know, with all these different animals around you and with all these different kindred spirits, you know, your crazy might not be crazy to me or my not crazy might be very crazy to you. So that's just how it go. Okay. That's just how it go. But um, this is what's going on. They going to war. All right. I'm curious to see what's this Baba Lao. Spirit, give me more on this Baba Lao. This is the magician. And this is a, a, a white, a white, a light, a, like a light worker. You don't see all that light embracing. It's not one dark energy around that person. That person is trustworthy. All right. Look. Strength and fucking reverse. Okay. There was news coming in that there was somebody stirring up bullshit. This could even be a Leo. Or this could be somebody just trying to have a, a hold on your view on somebody because what they was telling you. The page of wands. Oh my God. Y'all. The page of wands in reverse with the fucking strength card in reverse. This is somebody that y'all don't trust with nothing. Like anything that this person comes and tell you about somebody else, especially after you know you love this person, they they were is not valid. Anything I'm talking about, they could say, oh, this person made a fake page. Stop lying. Oh, this person called me. Stop lying. Like their word is not good no more. You hear me? They word is not good. This is what somebody found out. All right. This is what somebody found out because they went and got the reading. And remember, I slipped up. They wasn't even supposed to get that reading, but something happened to where God said, you know what? I'm going to give this person this reading so they can know what the fuck is going on and get the messages that they need to receive to see what was going on. And that's what happened. And God didn't just send them to no, no ordinary. They see God sent this person to a light worker. You hear me? Being with white light, being with knowledge and wisdom. All right. They got the messages through. Basically just confirming you guys' intuition on that person. All right. So that way when you go to war for your person, all right, or y'all or whoever you're going to war with, um, they know it's justified. 
All right. They know. I'm telling you, this person lies. Like this person will tell you anything just so you won't be protective over this person or group of people that's different from you. They try. They nothing that they could say. They didn't lock their way into no more lies. Like nothing. <laughs> their words, lies, manipulation, influence, bad mouthing you holds no weight. It used to be strong. It holds no weight no more because now everybody's seeing it. All right. So I hope this helps. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next reading.